Okay, so alright, so alright, so it's alright, so I'm alright, so it's alright, so Hello and welcome to Laura and Fauna. I'm Laura. Here's some fauna. Today I have Kermit and Thunder and CJ with me. And I am just getting ready for my day. But today, I thought I would talk about some of the um, plants and animals that I'm interested in. And uh, yeah, all while I get myself ready for the day. I was watching a video recently that was talking about hummingbirds. And hummingbirds are one of my favorite birds. I just think they're so neat and so tiny and so weird. Hummingbirds need to eat every like 15 minutes during the day. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour was some of the numbers that I read, but that's really often. So they're like cereal feeders. They need to eat all the time because their metabolism is working so fast that if they stopped eating for like two hours, they would starve to death. So they're just in a constant state of eating and pooping and eating and pooping and the world is like this crazy race to get enough calories. Yeah, hummingbirds only have two babies at a time. A lot of birds do that actually, pigeons only have two at a time. But something really crazy about hummingbirds is how far they can actually fly. Here in Ottawa we have hummingbirds in the summertime, but in the winter there's no way they could live. It's like negative 40 degrees Celsius here. So what they actually do in the winter time is they migrate, they leave and they go somewhere warm like California or Florida, like warm. I'm pretty sure it was California where the Anna's hummingbirds, the, the common ones that we have here, um, go. Which is kind of nuts, that's really far. Considering they have to eat every half hour, it's really scary because they could just starve to death for no reason. They are the tiniest breed of bird. Because of the way that they flap their wings, which is different from a normal bird. Normal birds, they're just doing like an up and down, but hummingbirds are doing like a figure eight and that allows them to hover in one spot consistently like some birds can hover for like a sec, but hummingbirds are like hover birds, they should be called. <laughs> if you have hummingbirds in your area though, something you should be really um, considerate of is that they're probably not abandoned. If you find a nest and you think that there's abandoned eggs or abandoned babies in it, it's probably not the case. They move so quickly and the parents need to feed so much that they aren't at the nest very often. So they drop by every 15 minutes or so to feed the babies, but in that time they just drip some sugar water and they're out again. They don't really do a whole ton of sitting and watching their babies. So if you're watching a nest and you think it might be abandoned, watch it for a full hour, even two hours of constant watching. Because if you look away, it might be in the moment that the mom and dad come back and then you could help by taking those eggs. But most people are not qualified or, or even able to keep a baby hummingbird alive. They're so tiny. They weigh as much as a paperclip at birth. Like two grams is how much a baby hummingbird weighs. It's just unlikely that you'd be able to take care of one if you found it. So you're better off leaving it because it's parents really rarely uh, leave their babies behind. But if you're 100% sure the hummingbird isn't coming back, if you've watched it long, and you really haven't seen it, then contact a wildlife uh, rehabilitator because there's pretty much no way you're gonna be able to keep a hummingbird alive. I love thinking that I can rehabilitate animals. I, I really like believed for a very long time that I was qualified to do that. I raised, well I raised, my family and I raised a, a goose when I was young because I believed that the goose had been left behind and I, I saved it. And this goose did live because geese don't really require a ton. They're native to the area, so they it knew what it needed to eat. But even in that situation, either I should have left the egg or I should have called a rehabilitator because a kid doesn't know what to do with a baby goose. And the goose thought I was its parent, so that can create problems later. It didn't, luckily it didn't in my situation, but it definitely could have. So if you see hummingbird eggs or really any bird eggs, probably don't touch them because they're probably not left behind. Something I thought that was really cool about hummingbirds is how they manage to sleep. Because if you have to eat every 15 to 20 minutes, it's gotta be hard to find time to sleep because you'd starve to death during your night. So what hummingbirds do is they basically go into a coma. Like they, they almost die. They slow everything down so slow that they aren't consuming any of their calories basically they're like they slow their heartbeat down to just 
a fraction of what it is. Crazy fast to crazy slow, they slow their breathing down and they're basically in a coma. Like they don't, like you wouldn't wake it up by just like flicking it. And then in the morning they just kind of restart all their organs again to get through the day. If you ever wondered what hummingbirds do at night, it's not really sleeping. It's kind of like dying, which is nuts. 